has assured the global community of Ghana's commitment to increasing the country's share of renewable energy in the energy mix. So speaking at an event on sustainable energy for all in Egypt, President Akufuado stated that Ghana will continue to increase the share of renewable energy in its electricity generation mix as well as explore the options of hydrogen gas and other clean energy sources to meet its energy demands. Speaking at a high-level event on sustainable energy for all, which was organized by Bloomberg Philanthropist on the sidelines of the COP27 in Egypt, President Nana Adudanko Akufuado said energy transition has become a global responsibility, especially in view of the impact of climate change and the global energy crisis brought forth by the Russian invasion of Ukraine, with Ghana being a signatory to the Paris Agreement and other international conventions which require the country to reduce her carbon dioxide emission levels. Mr. Akufuado indicated that it has become imperative for Ghana to develop plans and strategies towards the creation of a net zero energy sector while aggressively pursuing the nation's economic development. After COP26 in Glasgow, Ghana intensified her commitment to the global effort to fight the impact of climate change by setting up the National Energy Transition Committee on the 22nd of February 2022 to prepare a national energy transition framework with the following objectives. One, identifying viable pathways to transitioning towards carbon neutrality within a secure and efficient energy sector. Two, harnessing the opportunity for a just and equitable energy transition as the country relies on carbon intensive industries for economic growth. Three, evaluating the impacts of energy transition on the economy, infrastructure, government revenue, jobs, and social development. And four, developing medium to long-term targets and policies for achieving a carbon neutral economy. And finally, Five, estimating the cost of implementing the framework and, in, and identifying finan financing options for the realization of the stated objectives. The government of Ghana, being mindful of the implications of such a framework and its implementation on the entire economy, directed the committee to undertake extensive stakeholder consultations in addition to export expert input to produce the National Energy Transition to guide our transition to a net zero economy by 2070 in a just and equitable manner, as well as minimize possible stranded assets and job losses in the oil and gas sector. To this end, he told the Guardian that it has thus become necessary for Ghana to develop an energy transition framework that will guide the country as the entire world moves towards realizing net zero.